Yeah, well, really, I only want the, the minister to say one thing at my funeral. If he gets up there, and they play a few little hymns and everything, uh, maybe they'll play There Is No Place Like Nebraska, that'd be great. I just want him to stay up there and say, my God, he was old. You know? <laughs> I'll settle for that. <laughs> But the truth is that, to some extent, Berkshire is my creation. So I would like people, to the extent that people regard that well, that's what counts. I mean, that's my painting. And, and, and I hope that people look at, I've been running out for almost 38 years, about, just about 38 years exactly, and that means I've only got another 30 or 40 to go. And uh, I hope that, uh, that we have done some things differently than other corporations. We've operated on a, on a different model. And I hope two things about it, actually. I hope, A, that, that people realize that that model works and why it works and so on, because it, is, it does conflict with certain management theory uh, over the years. And secondly, uh, the, the important thing is that it, that it lasts well beyond me. I was down at Walmart six months ago and talked to their management group, and it was, I had a great time. What is really astounding, I voted for Walmart as the most admired company in the, in the country last year. That was my, that's where my vote went. It was astounding what Sam Walton built, starting in Bentonville, Arkansas with a pickup truck, taking on J.C. Penney and Kmart and Sears and all of these people with no money, you know, no real estate, no preference with vendors, no credit card list, anything. He just took them on and, of course, he just ran, ran away from them. But the really impressive thing about Walmart is that Sam died about 11 years ago, and uh, there had been no momentum lost. I mean, what he instilled in that company, nobody else could have built it like Sam, but David Glass first and Lee Scott now as the CEO, they have kept that company with its special culture uh, going at full steam ever since. And that, that's really what I hope you know, happens with Berkshire, and I've tried to think about ways to, to make that happen. But the real test will be if... 10 or 20 years after I die, that the special culture that I think is part of Berkshire is not only just as strong as ever, but even stronger. Uh, we have a situation at Berkshire where in 38 years, we got all kinds of CEOs out there running all kinds of businesses, three or four of them in Omaha. We have never had one CEO ever leave us, period, uh, to go someplace else. I mean, it, I don't think I don't know that there's any place like that in the country. So it's it's been a and we've never issued a stock option. You know, uh, you know, you read in the papers that you you know you got to have stock options to attract quality people, all that sort of thing. I mean, we, we never had we've never had a, uh, had a share of them. And 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 in the end, I don't know how many dozens of managers we're talking about, but no one has ever has ever left uh, for another job. And uh, some have been offered way more money. Uh, in fact, a G. Jane, who runs our reinsurance operation, probably could have increased his income ten times, tenfold. Now, he's already making many millions, but, but tenfold. But he doesn't want to leave. And that is the culture that I hope we can maintain, and that's what I'd really like to be. Uh, you know, if I've done anything to contribute to that, uh, continuing after I die, that would that would be terrific. Of course, I, I I actually plan to keep managing Berkshire after I die. You have to understand that. <laughs> I, I have given all the managers Ouija boards. You know, I, I've I've got these dark rooms they're going to go into, and I'll be there. <laughs> Mrs. B at, at the Rascal Fernie Park worked till 103 at Berkshire, and she's she's sort of our example. And and then she then she uh, took off from work, and she died the next year. So it's very dangerous to to uh, quit as early as that. Uh. <laughs>